Hello and welcome to Hating TV. Okay, I have got to run up and down to farm two with a telehandler bringing down two bears at a time because that blue trailer there, the low sensing bar, so underneath port equipment trailers and quite a lot of other trailers, there is a low sensing bar going between each of the two wheels of the rocking axle. That has gone. There's a little rubber vent mount that um, holds it on where well, the rubber sort of perished and it sort of dropped off. Wait for parts and you will see that get fixed. Adam, his raw shortness will sort that out for you. Or, and show you. So, I'm going to jump in the JCB 530 which, yes, we get hidden from loads of you for ages, but it's more fun for us. And it keeps you lot looking. Alright. Open this. Big door. That door's 20 by 20 foot. So you're 20 foot wide and 20 foot high. Trying to make sure that no one hits it. Handler is found. So anyone selling hay at the moment, you guys must be busy as busy as winter is really, really bad. So hope you're all doing well in your endeavours where hay sales, food sales. It's got to be good for everyone, surely. We're doing pretty well, but if we look out the window here. So that top stack is, I think, just over halfway gone. That stack is three quarters gone. That stack we haven't started. The purples, obviously, I've left those few purples there. So at another point, we'll have a look at them and see basically how they get on over a long period of time. Because last time I opened some, I think it was like four months in. So those will be open like eight ten months in and give everyone sort of a idea of Zeus Epigrom. One second I've got to get a little dog. See him there? He's late to work. And now he's looking the other way because he's embarrassed because he caught a camera when he should be in his little place there but he's been off chasing I don't know rabbits or something. So just give me a second. One dog, why don't I say hi? He's so weird. His real shortness, what are you on with? Feeding cows. Feeding cows? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Nothing else going on? Nothing else going on, mate. You gonna sell out your load for tomorrow? No. No? You gonna feed your cows? Just feed your cows. Well, he is in high spirits today, as you can see. How's Reggie's leg? Broken. Don't tell them that, they'll get all upset. No, it's not really, not really broken. His joint pops out every now and then. Reg has suicidal tendencies. Yeah. So I mean, the knee pops out, so we've got to, either pops in on its own, or we pop it back in. <laughs> so earlier on he jumped off what, four, four bales high? Yeah. Four bales high. That's like four stringers, so it's like pretty high. And he didn't land it very well, did he? Just a pair, does he? No. As you see in this yard, which was full on this side and was full on this side, it's sort of like way this way. This yard's nearly cleared, which is well, it's good at the end of the day that they're gone. Then we are in the hay barn, that side. Don't worry, the water's not going under the bales, it's just the dampness that sort of blows in over the shed. So that side's pretty much full, apart from two bays. 
This middle part is basically full. This side's being completely cleared. As you see, mower, mower. That stack of bales there is a stack coming from somewhere else. AKA we bought mint. So that's where they're from. The barn down the bottom is empty. Right, I'm not walking down there. I've got to sort of let myself in. So hay barns, we're absolutely tearing through and winter just isn't letting up, is it? Like the worst, the worst thing at the moment, like completely is straw. Straw is through the roof, as I'm sure everyone knows. Apart from you corn boys, you must be loving life. Apart from the only time that you're all wishing that you had more of it, I'm sure you would agree. So that stack's completely gone. That stack is three left. That stack much left off. The stacks you see in the background. Sorry, if there's any wind, I'm really sorry, but I'm using that load. I'm telling you, I'm not okay. Can't always be prepared all the time. Uh, so the stack over there on that whoop, that side in the background. So that one there. That one is the one we're using at the moment, which was five high and it was all the way up to the gate. I don't know if you can see the gate in the background. The other stack we haven't started yet. And then this stack over here, which was there, we have cleared all that. So going pretty well. That's a farm two. Farm three, we'll have a look there in a minute. As you can see here, this yard's usually full, well, this yard's full of rye grass. There is half gone, and that side is also clearing too. Yeah, some wood. Okay, so we've had some fresh wood chip in, and, and at the moment it's in the part of the dung heap that I want to work. Even though everywhere is just too wet. I really feel for you dairy boys that have got slurry building up everywhere. And you've got no choice. Fortunately, we don't have to panic. Fortunately, we don't have to panic in the sense that we haven't got a lagoon building up, but it is making us really, really late in a cycle of how we do everything. Like ordinarily, ordinarily we would be, 85% of our dung should be out by now, but the amount of water we're having recently is just, well, it's more than I've remembered for a winter for a very long time. And now hearing that next week, we have got more snow coming back. I hope it doesn't materialize or anything, but allegedly we've got more snow coming. So yeah. Again, hopefully snow does not materialise into anything. Oh, too much in the bucket. Any of you knew I'm in the compost yard at the moment, but it's now getting dark. I wanted to uh, go out in a field and sort of show how wet it is here. We haven't got standing water quite like some other YouTubers have. Feel bad for all them. But that's because not a lot of our farm is flat. Everything here is very, very well. Most most of it's quite steep. 
we got some flat fields, but none of them like bowling green flat. They're all like undulating and rolling. So we don't tend to have a lot of standing water ever. But if you go on a slope, as wet as it is at the moment, you just, we just end up making a massive mess. In the comments below, how is your farm faring this winter so far? Let's have a chat about it. You guys doing all right out there? Or could winter 2020 to 2021 absolutely do one? Okay, I'm done down here. In the next video, I will get out in the field and we'll have a bit of a stonk around Let's see what it all looks like, because as I said before, right before Christmas, before Christmas, we had hedge trimming like down, like we are really up to date. We've got a few hedges left to do, but not a lot. It's like one little block left, which um, we've got sheep running in at the moment. Uh, but, so that's on top of, but done, usually December, but December rain, January rain, I've had one, one and a half good days on getting dug out. Um, and I've made a den, but it's a small den, and I've got a lot, a lot to shift. Um, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's times like this where it's all going to get you all stressed up. Uh, as I said, it's doing my editing, we should, I should be spreading down and I can't because I can't get the fields. If I do, I'm just going to make an absolute mess and then be even more pissed off that I will go fix it. So I've got to wait, sit and wait, but as things are at the moment, going to need five, six days at least to just for it to sort of dry out enough to get out of it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little video. This video has been more of a bit of a catch-up video on what's going on around here. Uh, because of the weather, we can't really get out and do very much at the moment. Um, got lots of things to do. The old mother nature needs to give us a bit more sunshine and a little bit less rain. But it's going to be one of those typical factors, isn't it? We all ask for this. We're, if it, like, the last few years, wet winters, being the dry, long springs, end up making harvest late. So I kind of hope we don't get that. I hope we get maybe a little dry spell in a minute to finish winter off, and then have a nice amount of water drying us through spring, so we can all sort of crack on at the right sort of time. But anyway, enough of me rooting on. Hope you enjoyed looking at my mug and well the rhino's behind the seat he's on that side of it um, and it's raw shortness you can find us also oh I haven't done any of this yet have I so if you've already have done so please can you hit that subscribe ring the bell give us a thumbs up uh, leave a comment below on anything you want to chat about uh, if you want to see more of us you can find us on Instagram Facebook Snapchat and Twitter You'll also get merch on eBay, go check it out. But until next time, see you next one. Cheers.